Chemtrail conspiracies make no sense. Aerial spraying from high altitudes would be an extremely inefficient and inexact mode of delivering chemicals to ground-based targets. Pesticides, for example, are often sprayed on crops from airplanes flying at around 30 feet. Wide area mosquito spraying may be done from an altitude of 150 feet. Chemtrails are supposedly deposited at 30,000 feet or higher, but winds would most likely uh, disperse them unpredictably. If there was a campaign to introduce foreign chemicals to the population, it would be simpler and more efficient to put them in the water supply, or the food supply, or if inhalation were necessary, to release them from ground-based vehicles. All of the evidence presented by the conspiracy theorists who believe in chemtrails focus on pictures of the sky. It is all perfectly consistent with contrails. No other evidence, such as detection of chemicals or pictures of actual chemical spraying planes or documentation detailing the government's plans, has ever been forthcoming. Notably absent are potentially convincing evidence such as spectrographic analysis. After all, the context of an air traffic trail can't be hidden from a spectrograph. The chemtrail conspiracy theories that have been going on for the past few decades is nothing more than nonsense, utter nonsense. Like I said, there is no evidence whatsoever to prove that chemtrails exist. It is a bunch of nonsense to spread fear and panic amongst the populace who are actually gullible enough to believe in such things.